All right, try that again. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome back to No Man's Land. Uh, apologies for the slightly late starter. Uh, running a little bit behind today and I had to rush a little bit. So, but we are here now and uh, hope everyone's had a great week. Not been long since the last stream though, only a couple of days. So before we get in, just say hi to Stevie, how are you? Hang on, I think my stream deck's playing up again. Don't think they can hear you. <laughs> oh. Stream decks are getting really annoying now. I... Right, try that again. How are you, Stevie? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too bad now at all. I can't. I can't complain. It's uh. Not, not long since we were last on anyway, so we'll uh, hit the ground running again tonight. Yep. So yeah, slight change from the normal for um, we're not doing tomorrow night, we're doing tonight because Stevie's um, at a, was it a 30th birthday party tomorrow night? Yeah, a 30th birthday party for uh, one, of, one of my friends, so it's oh, unfortunately I have, I have to go anyway, so, but I know it'll be fun. Yeah, no worries. So what we're going to do to start with is, you're going to take a load of canola to sell. Yeah, I'll take a load of canola to sell and I'll buy, I'll buy my new tractor and if you want to even maybe go down to the forest and start cutting down trees or something, yeah, and yeah. we'll get a bit of that done and then we'll try and skip forward until December or, or something and we can uh, we can sell, sell some of our crops then and kind of keep skipping through until we can get something to do. Uh, just checking, actually, I'll take the eggs because the eggs are at the highest price and that's dropping. I'll oh, yes, load up the right. eggs. Yeah, November's alright. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I'll start off, I'll load up the eggs and uh, use the uh, use the big massy. So, who we got in Storm Call? Hello there, hey to you. Blue Buzzard also in the chat again and Dean Ninja saying hey, hey, hey. Hey to you. Uh, Maximilian Hop saying hi, hi to you. Maria saying hello. Alex saying hi. Uh, Rowan saying hello, hey to you. Uh, Danilo CZ saying hi. And yeah, Storm, I wasn't uh, wasn't planning on doing tonight, but because Stevie can't do it tomorrow, we thought we'd switch it to tonight instead. So I'm not on my own doing all the work. And that way Stevie's not going to miss a time-lapse video for his uh, series as well. Uh, James saying hi. Iridium saying Rowan have some patience, yeah. <laughs> when does it start now? Well, five minutes ago. I say apologies, it's a little bit late. So I was a little bit busy. I didn't get up here till... Um, well, I think it was 32 minutes past I actually got back up into the office. Uh, but we are here now. Uh, Boss2 saying, sup Stevie. And uh, saying sup as well, hey to you. Uh, Matt saying hi to him. Hey Matt, how are you? Good to see you in the chat again. And also Rufus Farming Life saying hi. Oops, I've just driven over a weight. A weight hiding in the grass. Um, yeah, that's pretty my own, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was reading the chat, I was just sort of in the corner of my eye, tractor just pop up in the air. But, whoops. Uh, <laughs> trying to see where I'm back on. Uh, Chris Nagpal saying, Have you added Precision Farm DLC? Not yet. Um, I did try to load my save game on No Man's Land with it on, and it loaded fine after the, um, uh, the little update yesterday. So I will be adding it, but I don't want to add it just yet uh, while I've got crops in the ground, just in case they mess up the um, the yields of the crops. Because uh, in the FS19, when I added it, when I had crops in the ground, I ended up uh, getting really bad yields off the first harvest because I couldn't apply any nitrogen or uh, get the pH levels correct. Uh, for some reason, it wouldn't let me do it. So just to avoid having that issue this time I'm gonna harvest all the fields first and then I'll add it in uh, 
that is a little bit annoying because it does mean obviously with seasons running uh, by the time I've harvested the last of the crops uh, it'll be too late to plant canola or barley uh, wheat so I'm gonna have to do a year where I don't do those crops which isn't too bad because uh, there's other crops we can do that we can use instead so for like wheat and uh, uh, flour feeding chickens and stuff we could do uh, sorghum or oats for a flour instead of doing the uh, sorghum uh, barley or whichever <laughs> and for the oil, oil mill we won't be able to get any canola but we'll be able to get some flour oil and we'll have the olive oil as well so yeah as soon as I've finished all the harvesting for the current in-game year uh, then I'll switch on precision farming and we can take all the soil samples get the pH levels of all the fields set and then go from there. Um, as for Carmsden Farm um, on the other channel, I was going to go back to that, but I did see Oxygen David has uh, submitted the update for that to Giants now. So I'm going to hold off until the update's live, and then I'm going to start on a fresh new save game with Precision Farming running. Uh, transfer over everything I can. Um, from the current save game so all the equipment I should be able to transfer over fine but I'll just then have to reset the field states to get them to where we are currently and then go from there so that's the uh, the plan with those series uh, the new series I'm hoping to start sometime next week and I think I'm gonna probably do precision farming straight from to get go on that one Uh, Transport Fever 2, yeah, um, I'm at the same point with that one. I want to get back to it, but the new update is due out next month. Um, I'm not sure if it'll require a new save game, so I was kind of like waiting to see when that was going to come out, although it's still quite a while off. Um, so I may just continue with the current series, try and get as much progress done as possible, and then when the update comes out, see if I can transfer the save game over whether it needs a new one or not. And then decide, obviously, if it if it does need a new save game, I'll probably just finish off that series and then uh, may try a different game for a bit and then come back to it. Uh, but I, I haven't finished it. I do want to get back to it because uh, I was really actually enjoying it. And I, I have actually got, I think, I'm pretty sure I've got two or three episodes recorded, I just need to actually edit and um, get them edited and rendered. So I recorded a while ago. Um, I'll just try and catch up, see if I missed anybody. Uh, which tractor are you buying? Steve is buying... I don't know if we can see it's him. It's a sea crush. <laughs> you'll see it in a minute, Hanoa. Yeah, you'll see it in a bit. It's Stevie's choice, he's chose the tractor. It's okay, I'm on the way, my way back to the farm which is already and we'll see you in a minute, I know. Yeah, we'll see it in a bit. Um, yeah, the fence, how many hours were on the fence? Yeah, 40 odd, I think. Yeah, the 47, I think. The fence was getting really expensive to keep maintaining, it was costing a fortune, so we decided we'd get a new tractor. It's uh, going to be a bit cheaper maintenance wise for a bit. So I've already got 20 hours on this massey and we bought this brand new. <coughs> well, what I need to do is move that half filled pallet or partial filled pallet so that can continue filling. Hopefully, a new one won't spawn. Get the uh, rest of these ones out. Uh, I did miss somebody saying hello and I can't see where it is. Uh, where the hell's that comment from? Um, Alex saying, do you use shaders? No, I don't use shaders. I find they're just 
impact performance too much when I'm recording to be worth bothering with. So I don't don't use them. Uh, uh, Blue Buzz is saying, how are you doing, Sim? I'm doing very well, thank you. So I had, a, had quite a busy day. Uh, so I'm brushing this afternoon to try and get everything done and get back so I can get the stream uh, sorted. But it's all good. Uh, Stefan saying hi, hey to you. Iridium saying, miss the last stream. Stevie isn't sounding crunch anymore. Good luck on the birthday party, Stevie. Oops, I've got to strap these down before I knock them off. At least they're. <laughs> uh, Edgar Gomez Rodriguez saying, What's up, dude? The sky or the ceiling? You say I'm all more good. Hope you are too. Welcome to the stream. Firehead saying hi, Steam. Hi, Stevie. Hey to you. Electro Farm saying sub Steam. Still haven't had my operation, but still recovering from a broken arm. I hope you it's not too much longer. And uh, as I said last time, uh, hope you get well soon and uh, back to uh, full use of your arm sooner rather than later. Uh, Jack Little saying hi, and Tyler Williams also in the chat. Uh, Stefan saying I'm. Um, on to look your complete no man's land FS19. Nice. Uh, Chris saying add the auto load and make your life easy. Yeah, it would, but makes a change because I'm using the auto load quite a bit on the no man's land, so makes a change doing a bit of manual loading. Well, this trailer is not in a good position now for me to uh, get to the front of it. I need to put that one on, turn it round. Um, OxyDNA saying hello, hey to you. Uh, Chris, will you be playing City Skylines on your channel? Uh, eventually, yeah, I'd, I do want to do a series on City Skylines. I'm not the best at it though. <laughs> I'm no expert at. Yeah, I, I absolutely love City Skylines and games like that, but yeah, I'm no, no expert. I, what I always find is I'm quite slow when it comes to actually getting any progress, I'm not sure how well it'll go down. Maybe if I'm recording, I'm a bit more mindful of, I need to uh, actually get some stuff done, I'll probably be a little faster. But when I tend to play it on my own, I end up sitting there for hours playing it and don't actually get much done. Better if we put this over here. There's a little bit more space. I should do. Hey Dixon saying hello Stevie and Sim, hey to you. Jack Smart saying hey as well and Rocket Kid also saying hello, hey to you. Uh, Peter V saying good evening, good evening to you. We're gonna get some broken eggs here. Yeah, I think we'd have to um, probably sell some of these pallets off anyway, that new pesky pallet limit. So is anyone else finding the uh, the new pallet limit a bit annoying, or has it not really affected you? Do you not do much productions? Um, I did see a post from Giant saying they were going to look into increasing the pallet limit, um, but it wouldn't be until the next update, which could be a while off yet. Uh, but I am led to believe as well for PC there is a script mod available. I'm not sure where that disables the limit um, but I'm not 100% sure where that mod currently is I was just did see somebody mention it briefly on Facebook
Uh, Blue Buzz is saying, how's the garden going? Uh, not done much since Thursday, uh, Wednesday I mean. Didn't do anything at all yesterday other than just water a couple of uh, couple of containers that got a little bit too sunny. Uh, done nothing at all in the garden today. I probably won't get much time this weekend because I've got well, so we had the skip delivered the other day and I've got a load of rubbish I need to get through uh, getting the skip ready for next week so that can go back. Right, last four pallet, we'll take the um, that partial pallet as well, may as well. So any any guesses on how much you reckon we'll make? Current price for eggs is two and a half thousand per one thousand litres. No, no prizes for closest, but just for a bit of fun. Oops. They're broken eggs, for it. I think it's time just to... Uh... Use the hand of God to finish off. <laughs> uh, Firehead, it's live now, because Stevie can't do tomorrow night. So we've brought it forward a day early uh, for this weekend. Uh, how much egg do you have? A lot of eggs. I don't know how many exactly. It's probably 12 months worth of eggs saved up till the best price. So far on the, um, up to what, the 1.4 update now and the pallets are still a little bit glitchy. So 24,247. So somebody can whip out a calculator now and uh, <laughs> probably get a very, very close answer. Oh, actually, what we need to do, I forgot we built that new cell point last time. Let's check where the current best price is. So, the grocery store. So, the new sell point. There's me driving off down to the farm store. So, we need to head over to the new sell point we built last time. So, for anyone that watched the last stream, I was doing the. Well, we built the tailor shop if you didn't watch last time, actually. So, we now are, are actually producing clothing from the fabric that's been produced at the spinnery we built a few streams ago. Uh, it may have been the stream before the last one we built the spinnery and then we built the tailor shop last time. And we also built a new cell point that's uh, from one of the mods that's on the mod hub. So we've got two options now for selling crops and a uh, product. Well, while we're over here, we'll go and have a look at Stevie's new tractor. It's blue. Yeah, one question. Um, draw I say on your Massey when you're trying to open the front loader tool. Uh, I have the problem now that it's just trying to open my back window the whole time. How would you get around that? Um, make sure you've actually highlighted the front loader on the top left corner. Yeah, I have it highlighted all right, and uh, it's still only using the... I can go up and down, but when I go to open Try. and close the claw, it's just open the back window. Try Are you actually highlighted on the claw or the front loader? It On, on both of them, it still does the same thing. Ah. Now, this is what I really hate about the um, opening and closing doors, when it conflicts with... Um, the front loaders. I, I, I really, on personally, I don't care about doors opening and closing. But when it conflicts with other controls like mine, mine's not so bad on the the Massey. But <laughs> when you're trying to use the front loader and you've got doors opening and closing, it's a bit annoying. Um, it works. It works on the mouse, the the claw. Yeah. But uh, I'd love to know what. Wonder what the input button is to get rid of the window. 
Yeah, I think that's probably the only thing is have a look through the input mine and see if you can see it and just disable it. That's probably what I should do on mine actually, but it's not something I've ever looked at. I don't know if you can actually do that. Yeah, I must I must try that now. I don't know what it'd uh, come under. Yeah, I, I like the fact modders go the extra thing to add all the animations that for opening and closing doors, but when it conflicts with controllers for front loaders, I wish there there was an option where you could um, disable it when you buy the vehicle. You get the option for having interactive controls on or off. So I don't know how they've mapped it, whether it's mapped to the control. Uh, the uh, front loader things, or whether it's a separate thing that comes up. Yeah, I'm having no joy in finding anything to. Um, I imagine the they've, just, they've just mapped it to the same controls as the uh, front loader or operating the tools. Yeah, I can't see anything in there. Oh. So you went with the New Holland T7. Well, you, you, you may have to return it. <laughs> we may have to return it, is right. But if, if it's if it's no good with the front loader, I'll just have to add in the difference if you've lost any money on it. Yeah, I'd be wondering what what would, what could I buy then instead of it. I wonder. I'd have a, I'll just have to have a look and see. That's a bit annoying, that is. Uh, the pallet limit number on PC is 100 pallets. Uh, that includes big bags, uh, seed pallets as well, as well as all production pallets. So it's a combined total of anything that's on the map. So when you reach that limit, you can't get any more pallets spawned or you can't buy any further pallets from the store. Uh, console, it's currently 50. And I think that's 50 across all consoles. So even if you're on Series X, PS5, I think it's 50 as well. Uh, same as Xbox One, PS4. So 62,177, Blue Buzzard was close to 60k, uh, Boss 2, 15, <laughs> a little bit more than that. Uh, Stefan, what is your favourite tractor? My favourite tractor is, which I'll show you, is this, it's currently one on sale, the Fent, well, the Fent 1050, that's my favourite tractor. So yeah, last stream we built the Taylor shop, which is just here. Um, we also built this cell point. Uh, we did add some decoration. I did find a better way to get these so the tables aren't floating. And I also added these, which I did say I was gonna add uh, in the last stream, these barriers with the flare pots on, I didn't have enabled. So it didn't look too bad. Um, if anyone's interested in doing the tables, and they are exactly in the middle, the umbrellas are now exactly in the middle. There's a new mod that was released on Mod Hub called Building Snap or Snap Building. So I'll just go into here and show you. Um, so decoration. Uh, where are we? Tables. So you can actually put the tables down first this time. If I open the help menu, so in the top on the help menu now I've got adjust grid snap and adjust angle. Uh, rotation so you can switch those off as well if you don't so you can s toggle through up to five meters on the grid snap uh, 0.5 to 5 meters and then the rotate angle you can do five degrees 11.25 22.5 45 90 and then turn it off so what I did for the tables was that was on 90 so I'll get perfect 90 degree rotation I then set the Grid snap to two meters. I 
and then I just went one over so it's there drop that down then the umbrella turn off the free uh, turn on toggle on the free place mode with V and then if you get this just in the right place it does uh, but it won't do it now <gasps> oh come on you have to yeah, there you go you just have to get the mouse in the right position and the umbrella drops through the table and then you can drop it down right in the middle uh, the table's on the ground the umbrella's directly on the ground and it's all nice and placed out uh, so that's how I got those looking a little bit better than I did in the last stream and I used the grid snapping to place those out uh, nice and neat as well so yeah very very nice handy mod works on all building doesn't work on landscaping so you can't do it on trees doesn't snap and also uh, manure pits and bunker silos that already have a 90 degree rotation it doesn't seem to work on those uh, but it works on buildings fine so you can get perfect 90 degrees or turn that off and free place it uh, there's one thing as well it doesn't work is fencing so you still can't snap these to 90 degrees or anything like that so they're all still free place but yeah it's a handy mod uh, especially the fact that you could actually disable it as well which is quite useful but one thing I just wanted to check yeah we have got fabric there now our first pallet of clothes is not far off So we'll do, we're going to drop this trailer back off on the fort. Um, uh, we'll get the log grub on. We'll uh, <laughs> probably come over, do a load of uh, trees, top up the sawmill if that needs topping up. And uh, then we'll, what the plan to do is we'll skip through, probably through winter, selling off the crops, and they're at the best price. Seeing how much money we have then in the new year, and we can start then looking again some new crops in the ground. I bought a new tractor. Oh, you bought another new tractor? Yeah, if you can add uh, twenty-five thousand six hundred and fifty-four back into our uh, our kitty, just to bring us back to where we were, because that's why I lost out on the tractor. How much was it? Twenty-five thousand. Uh, yeah, twenty-five thousand six hundred and fifty-four. Right, done. I'm gone environmental this time, I'm gone green. You're gone green. <laughs> oh, actually, something I just missed. Um, oops, go back to the game. Oh, what have we got now? John Deere. Uh, 6R230. Ah, oh, nice. That's 300 horsepower. Uh, 280, this one. 280. I didn't want to go spending didn't want oh. to go spending too much to get 300 just yet. But we can upgrade again. Nice. I was going to say the um, 6R is not a bad one because you can go up to 300, which is which is quite decent for a uh, medium sized tractor. Yeah, we'll have some silage bales to sell as well soon. Crowding Gaming saying a lot of eggs, yeah, it was. Uh, Valentin saying hi Sim, hey to you. I'll just try and catch up on chat a little bit. Uh, uh, B Williams saying it's cutting time in Frank and Muff, nice. I downloaded that map the other day to have a look at and I never actually got round to going on to have a look at it. So after the suggestions in the uh, previous streams, I thought. I'll, I'll install it and see what it's like and then I never actually went on it. Oh, so we're going to join Stevie over the uh, 22 and do a little bit of forestry for a bit. We won't do too much. Just 
while we uh, pass a bit of time. Uh, James saying 62,315. Was that after I uh, sold the eggs? I can't even remember how much we actually got from. Uh, Davis Farming saying, hey, hey to you. Good to see you in the chat again. Uh, Broken Max saying, you made me get this game. Nice, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, B Winning saying, after I cleaned up the hash that the AI has made of it, I think I'm going to have to release them into the forest after this. Do first is we'll get these off cuts over to the sawmill if we can. Just get them out of the way and tidy up a little bit. Uh, Klein's Crocodile saying hello, hey to you, and Stooly P saying cheers to you. Uh, Blue Buzzard, yeah, it just it doesn't include what's in the storage of the buildings, it's what's actually on the map at the current time. Um, so if you've got a hundred pallets on the map, then the production buildings can't spawn new pallets in the spawn area until you've sold some. Um, but yeah, it doesn't include what's in the buildings, as far as I'm aware anyway. It is just actual physical pallets. Um, so if you've got uh, a one of the auto pallet storage mods which take pallets out of the game then you could prob probably stockpile pallets with that as they're physically not on the map. Um, that way then you could use the, not the warehouse mod to stockpile pallets and then just spawn out the ones you need to take out when you need them. Uh, the only downside to that is then you've got to move the pallets from your production building to the warehouse and then take them out again when you need them. What they, what they need to do with the pallet limit is they should have increased the storage capacity of buildings and then have an option where you could just, when it's set to storing it just literally stores them in the building and doesn't spawn any pallets and then you can manually go to the building and then set it to spawn pallets when you need them uh, that way then you're not having loads of pallets on the map uh, just sitting in the spawn areas when you don't need it I think it would have been better for them to have done that with adding the pallet limit even if they just like set each build into a 50,000 litre storage capacity for pallets. I always find it a bit funny as well that they um, somehow conveniently left it off the change log. It's like, did they deliberately leave it off the change log knowing that it was gonna, a lot of people are gonna kick up a big fuss about it. Especially on PC as well. I can understand it on console. A bit like the barrel limit. I was surprised I didn't put a pallet limit in from the get go. The console. But why they've restricted PC players, I don't know. It seems very strange. Uh, Vidic the Farm saying hey. Uh, Stefan saying how fast do you run? Quite fast on here because I've got cheat mode enabled. Uh, which also adds like a super speed um, which is a little bit too fast I can, I can run across the map faster than I can drive across it in a tractor uh, TC Agri saying hi Sim, hey to you uh, Jam Play saying hi Sim, hey to you too I would say if I've not read out your comment, um, I'm not even more in here, I've probably just missed it. So yeah, apologies if I have missed your comment. Uh, 
Uh, Stefan, are you like forestry in far more? Are you like forestry or do you like forestry? I, I don't mind doing forestry. It does get a bit tedious after a while because it is quite a slow process. Uh, but I enjoy it. I, I, I like using it on FS19 with the um, FDR logging equipment. Uh, but even with that then, it, at times, it still takes quite a while to get through a, a large area of trees. Especially when you're doing a map like Wilhelmina Forest or Crater Lake where you've got to clear probably 70, 80 trees just to be able to open up a big enough area to play in a good field. Sometimes you'd come on to record and set up, end up spending like three hours just clearing trees before you can actually do any farming work. Well, I, I enjoy it, but yeah, over after a while it does get a bit too much. And as I mentioned in the last stream, I'm hoping to get um, all the controller settings set up for the FDR equipment so I can start using that soon. Because it's uh, about time I actually uh, got some better forestry equipment on No Man's Land. And we can have a go at doing a bit more forestry again because I haven't done much since the 1.3 update. Since I nerfed the price of wood, I've been put off doing it. Especially with just using the chainsaw and the front loader to load up. Uh, Boston saying, what is better, John Deere or Class? I uh, had no idea. I think in-game Class is a little bit better priced than John Deere, I think. Uh, but in real life, no idea. Probably ask a, ask a real life farmer and you'll get different answers from every different farmer. <laughs> uh, Carl Thomas saying John Deere is a better colour of green. Yeah, the class class lime green or look, it's a bit uh, it's a bit garish. The best green for me for a tractor is the faint green. Actually, I, I really, really like the petrol blue, the faint petrol blue, uh, which is the colour I had on the faint 1050 in the FS19 No Man's Land. I really, really like that colour. Uh, quite a few people didn't like the fact I had the faint in that colour for some reason. Uh, Nick saying, hey Sim, great to see you live again, no worries, good to see you in the chat. Welcome to the stream, Rabbitman39 saying, hello Sim, hope you are all good sir, I am very well, thank you, hope you are too. And again, welcome to the stream. Uh, my f I don't have a particular favourite tractor bug brand as such. I like to try a bit of everything. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't have a particular favourite tractor brand. Every time I used to play like FS in the past, every time I was, I'd started a new map, I'd always try and use different stuff. So I never had one particular brand I always went to. I mean, when I played on FS 17 on, um, you know, before I started doing videos on my uh, West Coast map, I had predominantly Massive Ferguson stuff. Uh, with uh, JCB and then when I switched over to I can't remember which map it was I did a European map I had mainly Fent tractors on that one uh, 
And then when I did um Uh, the US map, what's it called? <laughs> Lone Oak. Can't remember the name of it then. When I did Lone Oak, I had uh, predominantly John Deere stuff on that one, even though it was a case dealership. When I played it, that was when I played on my own on FS17. Uh, Blue was saying that it's so stupid. I'm presuming you're on about the uh, the pallets. Yeah, there's a there's a mod that a script mod that uh, disables the um, the pallet limit, but I'm not sure what site it's on. Uh, it was on one of the it may be LS farming, uh, which is the, I think it's the same site that the does the Hofbergman map and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, check uh, Google LS Farming and have a look on that site. I'm pretty sure I remember that was the name, uh, but not 100% on that. Well, so I did see somebody say there was a script mod that disables the limits on PC. Uh, Chris, which combine you love the most? I love the Class Lexian. me cutting a tree that's already cut up. I did not notice. It didn't look like it was cut up. Yeah, class lexions and what the combine I'm at, I like the most. But again, it's not a particular favourite. I like using different stuff. I like the new John Deere, um, especially the modded one that's got like huge grain tanks. Uh, Videk the farmer, you're interested in precision farming? Yeah, I will be using it on my series soon. As I mentioned earlier in the stream, I'm going to wait until I've harvested all the fields first before I add it in, just so it doesn't mess, mess up any of the current crops in the ground. Because um, when I did add it, just to check the save game would actually load. Um, all the fields, the pH levels were... They weren't bad, but they weren't, like, perfect. And also the nitrogen was just set to 0% on every field. And also you got that fact then, although you can pay for the soil samples now, now they are quite expensive. It would cost quite a lot to do all the fields buying the soil samples. Driving around in crops and fields to take soil samples is a bit... Uh, Looks a bit odd. And um, where I currently am as well with the save game. I think the barley um, is ready to harvest, so I'd probably lose out quite a bit on the yield for that. But I will add it. Uh, Steph say my favourite combine is the class. Nice. Uh, boss 2, but which one of the Lexian? Um, I like the the old 690. I think it was 690. Why is my chainsaw not working? It's the one I used to see round by me the most. I, was, I, I pretty much say that class combines in my local area are the most common combines. Sven De Winter saying, Sim, I have massive respect for the reversing you do on the swivel trailers. Is there any trick I can get it done without the axle lock mod? Uh, patience and uh, yeah, practice. 
Uh, it took me a long while to get used to them, and even there, I'm, I still get it horribly wrong at times. There are the odd time where it just goes absolutely perfect straight away, and it's like, wow. <laughs> and then other times, it's probably five times as long, just backwards and forwards, getting it to line up perfect. Oh, come on. There you go. Uh, yeah, just patience, take it slow, don't try and steer too much. I think most of the time what happens when you go wrong is because you oversteer way too much. What you got to remember is that you only need very, very small movements on the tractor. It's like a, the movement on the trailer is like multiplied by quite a bit. Uh, but it's re really easy to end up jackknifing it. Because <laughs> you end up turning way too much with the tractor and then before you know it, it's gone completely the wrong way or way too much. I, d I doubt I'd even attempt to do one in real life. I don't know how some people do it. It's like crazy. Yeah, out of the new ones, I'd say the 8900 for the Lexian. Probably start loading up after this train see if we need to cut a few more after that we can uh, top up the trailer. Uh, Steph's saying yeah Deutz is uh, has a good but really small. What's that firehead saying that John Deere that Steve has bought is also at my school, nice. you've got over here, quite a few. Try and buff your work out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty near one load of trailers. It should do anyway. We'll just do the one set of trailers for now and then we can uh, get on with doing some other stuff because we did quite a bit of forestry last time as well. How many did you cut down? I think there's ten, roughly ten trees in total cut down. So, well, I I cut down seven. I, I don't know how many I cut down. I've lost count. There must be more than ten then if you cut seven. Oh, you may have already loaded a few up though that I didn't count. What we do is we'll do we we'll do like last time. We we'll load one set first and then we can fill the second set. Yeah. Straighten that up a little bit. Uh, Addy Moore saying hello, hey to you. Alex, will you buy the Fent 1050 and No Man's Land series? Eventually, yeah, I do want to get the, the 1050, but it's maybe a while off yet, although it probably won't be that far now because I'm starting to make quite a lot of money fairly quick now with all the different productions I've got going. Once you've got quite a few productions going and you add up all the pallets, you do start racking up the money quite quick. Um, but then you can spend it faster than you actually make it. Like earlier, I was recording No Man's Land. I sold a pallet, uh, a 
tried a load of I think it was sunflower royal, canola royal, uh, chocolate, cakes and cloves. And I think I would have ran about 160,000 I think for the trailer load. And then most of that went straight away on buying a new header trailer and header for the combine. Which I forgot I needed to get because I went to go and harvest the barley and I was like, got the combine out, I was like, oh yeah, I don't have a header. <laughs> I sold it. I do want to try and get a few more tractors soon. Uh, as I mentioned in previous streams of the No Man's Land Time series, I want to separate the arable farming, so get a new farmyard set up where I can keep the combine. Tractors I'll use then for sowing crops, um, cultivating, plowing and stuff like that, and then probably keep the doits I've got at the dairy farm sheep farm for uh, mowing the grass, baling. So I'll be getting a brand new tractor for uh, doing field work. And then the 6M and uh, the Deutz can stay at the dairy farm for a bit. Uh, which I'll possibly transfer the 6M up to the olive farm to use there rather than uh, buying a small tractor at the moment and then eventually I'll probably get one of the smaller tractors just just to use up there. Uh, cut the lengths the logs. On here we're doing currently seven meters because with multiple trailers I find seven meters is just about the longest length you can get like on the middle trailer without causing too many issues. I have got eight on there in the past, but you do have to make sure you stack them really well. And so sevens we're doing on here, which is a bit uncomfortably. And when I did my testing way, way back, which I may need to redo now, they've changed the pricing. Um, seven meters were actually the best, best length for a full tree. So you made the most amount of money with seven meter lengths from one tree than six or eight, which wasn't much difference in them well that's the test I need to do again now they've changed the pricing see if they've actually changed how it's calculated with logs uh, length and stuff uh, but yeah ideally these trailers I think suit six meters can get away with sevens. That's not saying that all these are exactly seven meters. The uh, measure mods, not too bad, but it's not 100% accurate. Jerome Bazot saying hello, are you okay? I'm very well, thank you. Hope you're too. Emmanuel saying hello, Sim. Hey to you. Welcome to the stream, both of you. Uh, Tana, I'm looking forward to a new save game. Yeah, I'm hoping to get it up soon. I'm not going to give a rough time because every time I do, I fail to actually meet it. Uh, but it will be up updated very soon. Oh, come on. This is the only downside to this log grab. I, I absolutely love this log grab for um, for a base game log grab. It's so much better than any other one that had uh, base game equipment in the past. It would be great if you could just pick up two logs a bit better. Oh, there we go. I think the, um, I would really love one of these for the telehandler but slightly bigger. So I think the log grabbing the base game for the telehandler is not very good.
So I so said, what when we finish this, we've sold these logs, we'll skip through to December and then I think we've got quite a few crops to sell as they'll be at their best price. And then we'll probably have to skip through to, well, it depends how much money we actually make from selling all the crops, to be honest. I do want to get a planter, which I mentioned before, for this year, so we can start doing some different crops. Uh, so we'll look, see what we can get for that, either two, two smaller planters, so we can both work through the fields at the same time, or one bigger one. We'll see what's available for what price. Um, possibly look at maybe getting um, uh, actually we could I was thinking to say we could look at because we've got the money could look at getting another production line as a, another source of income I don't think we really have the land at the moment we'd have to buy another area of land so we can start spreading out the productions a little bit those two trailers and then uh, I'll do for those. Uh, TC Agrisain, do you have any recommendations for maps to play on? Uh, I don't really... I haven't, there's not many maps I've actually looked at myself. Uh, maybe in the chat other people can give you some. Uh, but other than No Man's Land and the base game maps, I haven't really played briefly on Old Stream Farm. I haven't actually properly played on any of the other maps. Uh, it depends as well what type of map you want. Uh, whether you want one for forestry or farming. Or a bit of both. But yeah, maybe a few people in the chat can help you out on that one. So if you've got any recommendations on maps, then uh, yeah, put it in the chat. Uh, what model John Deere Stevie got is the 6R. Was it the 230? Yeah, the 6R 230. Great little tractor. Yeah, I do like the 6R. I always liked it in 19 because it's a classed as a medium tractor but it's got good horsepower and it goes up to. And it's not a bad price as well for what you can get. Yeah, it's uh, similar to the, the 8S. It's um, the 6R and the, the John Deere, the 8S Massey, but with two of the most high horsepower tractors in our front loaders. Yeah. So that New Holland got that problem with the uh, doors and windows. Are a bit annoying. Yeah, maybe for realism, the doors and windows is fine, but I wouldn't be a fan of it at all. <laughs> oh, so I'd, I'd, I'd never use it. It's not something I'm fussed about. So I just find it annoying when it conflicts with the controls on the front loader. Piling up these uh, off cuts where we can actually see them. Uh, Blue Buzz is saying I'm, I'm playing Calm Lands and I've built my own farm, it's really quite nice. 
Again, it's not a map I've actually taken the time to look at myself. Uh, Smarty GT saying, honestly, No Man's Land is good. Yeah, it's good, but if you've already played on it quite a bit and you want to change, then... Uh, I love no, no Man's Land. I'm still really looking forward to... Uh, Progressing a bit more on it, getting some more uh, production lines going across the map, buying some more land, getting some more field ploughed in, expanding on the farms, building up the new arable farm. I thought I was just getting the money to be able to do it all. If you want, if you're on a map like No Man's Land and you want to make quite a lot of money, there's that Alpine house mod um, that comes with like a holiday home that you can put down, and you get like a rental income. I think it's, it seems a little bit overpowered, and I think you get around about nine thousand six hundred per month, which is like nearly one hundred and twenty grand a year. It costs fifty thousand to put down. But you're like six months and you've made that money back and you're making profit. So put put like two or three of those down and you'll be making crazy amounts of money. I think a more realistic price would probably be around about four thousand, so a thousand pound a week for a holiday rental. the other set of trailers. Bring those over. So those ones are getting pretty full now. Uh, TC saying King Moz had a nice few tractors that have simple IC. Um, yeah this the actual simple IC isn't too bad because you can use that with a mouse and those tractors then don't conflict with um, the front loader, so it's like a completely separate system. But obviously, because you can't have that on console, um, a lot of the modded stuff, especially when it's stuff that comes from the base game, uh, mod creators have to put opening doors and windows on now to get it on Mod Hub if it's uh, like a modded version of a base game tractor. It's like something Giants request them to add the opening and closing doors and windows to make it more different from just the base game stuff rather than like colour changing options and no different engine options. I suppose one of those things as well if you're on console you can have opening and closing doors but you can't get the simple IC but just don't do it on front loader stuff or if you've got the front loader option switched on it disables it for me would be better other than that it's you know not something I'm fussed about uh, animal farming uh, sheep's probably the easiest one to do you just need grass Well, technically you can just do cows with grass but you won't get as good a production. Uh, to be honest I still think that with cows just feeding them hay is good enough. I think they actually changed, did they change it on this one slightly for cows. 
you know, 80%. I think on 19 it was 85% for hay and then 100% for total mixed ration. And a lot of the time I really don't think that extra 15% for the extra work mixing up total mix mash ration for just an extra 15% production sometimes just didn't seem worth it. Uh, pig, oh, to be honest, all the animals are fairly easy. If you pigs, you do you could do pig food, and you don't need to do any work. Just buy them, put them in the shed, add pig food, and sell them on for a profit, or sell the offspring. So sheep, all you need to bang them in the pen, give them some grass. Then again, you can sell the offspring or sell the wall. Horses, uh, for me, horses are a complete waste of time in FS22. They're just really not worth the effort, even with horse helper mod. The amount of time it takes for them to get to their maximum amount, it's just a big investment for very little return over a long period of time. One of the reasons why I got rid of them on Ho Baylor on. Uh, Chris Bost, uh, Bost 2, I dare you to use up the whole map. I will use up, I'll buy up the whole map on No Man's Land. Um, there's some areas of it like over there where it's very very steep hilly which limits what you can do with it unless you do a lot of landscaping and then I think over in that back yeah uh, oh over in that that back hedge as well it's quite steep and hilly so you can use most of it but down this one edge, it's quite a big hill. Uh, but I will buy all the land before we finish up on No Man's Land. Uh, same as I did on 19 as well. And I will try and use the large majority of it with either fields or buildings. So I'll start spreading out a little bit more over the map. Find some new land, getting some bigger fields. I don't think it'll be 150, 200 episodes to use all the map. As I said earlier, I'm getting to the point now where I'm making quite a lot of money quite quick. And the more I invest that money into future productions, bigger fields, the more that's going to do. So I reckon around about another 10 episodes time I'll be making quite a lot of money that I'll be able to start buying a lot more land, get bigger fields and then the money will start being made a lot quicker. So I reckon, yeah, it's going to be over 100 episodes. Uh, but I don't think it'll go up to like 150. Well, you never know though, we'll see. Depends where we get to. Uh, oh, there's still quite a few more, so I'll probably get another three trees. No, there's three on that middle trailer. Is there any more? You got any more? Ah, oh, you've got all in there. No, I say um, five more or so. We probably need. Yeah, that's what I was looking. Three for the middle one, then one each for the other two. Uh, Deadeye812, member for three months. Hey, been here a while. Well, welcome to the stream. Uh, thank you for the extra support as well and being a channel member. Really appreciate that. Uh, Boss2 saying grow sorghum. Yeah, we'll do some sorghum on the uh, next uh, 
next time we can get some crops in the ground. Probably do a field of sorghum again. And then we'll possibly look again the, the grey mill then doing flour. And I did install the industrial bakery earlier. Which I haven't actually had a look at yet. Uh, if I can find it. I wish it had shown here mod like it does when you go through the equipment. So I installed this early, which is the industrial bakery, which is on Mod Hub, which I'm presuming has got a increased production rate for uh, bread and cakes and stuff. So possibly get the grain mill and have a look again that as well next in game year. So once we've harvested the uh, crops next year. Oh, we want s I've changed it to feet somehow. There we go. I'm wondering then why is it going up so fast? Some feet, not uh, meters. <laughs> uh, did I was saying you've been watching you since FS17. Nice, well, I appreciate that. Your ep episodes are really relaxing to me. I'm oh, glad they are, and I'm glad you're enjoying them. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch the, the, uh, the videos. Uh, Videk the Farmer, do you have any plans for future series? Yeah, I'm starting a new series soon. Uh, possibly next week, if I can get it sorted. Uh, so I'll be going to, uh, hopefully it'll be three episodes on the new series, three episodes on No Man's Land each week. Well, that's the plan. My plans never go the way uh, I intend them to. It's a bouncy tree. And the end stuck in the ground. Uh, did I say be right back? Got to catch you in No Man's Land, kind of five episodes behind, no worries. Let's just cut this uh, top off. It's not stuck in the ground anymore. It's a bit better. Catapulting trees. So anybody in the chats that has actually used precision farming yet on 22, how are you finding it? Or have you uh, not bothered yet? I've not really seen much about it for the uh, 22 so far. I did read a couple of the blogs Giants posted about the new stuff uh, that's been added in. Obviously there's still a, a lot, lot more to the precision farming that's not been included yet. Uh, boss 2 saying no. Uh, Cortino Games, just spamming his own name, nice. Um, Boster saying Conan really doesn't interest me. I found in 19 it it took away some processes and made it a lot easier in a way. Especially if you've got a seed drill that does fertilizer as well. You could literally do all your nitrogen in one go. So you kind of like went from two fertilizer states to just one fertilizing. I 
Is that fair? Lime, lime was slightly increased, especially when it uh, you couldn't use like the variable spray rate mod. So I got used to using when that before that came out. So I could reduce how much lime that was using. So when you did come to do the line, you did have to uh, put down a lot more lime. Uh, TC Agri saying, I personally I find precision farming is really good DLC. It's easy, easy to use, but the soil sampling is a pain. Yeah, that was the one downside was uh, having to take all the soil samples, especially if you're on a big map. In the end, I had a um, a modded uh, soil sampler that covered the whole map in one go. So I changed the uh, settings on it. Um, so it was only when I did new, play with in new, brand new fields, I'd take samples of it the first time. And then when it needed updating, I'd just use the modded one and take one of the whole map. Because it just used to take so long. Well, I do like the fact they've added in the menu. You can click on the um, the land and then buy soil, soil samples. So you don't have to go around and do more yourself. Do this one then we'll uh we'll start loading up and then we'll see possibly one more we'll need to do uh what do you think is the most useful mod in fs most useful mod um ooh. i think for me one of the most useful mods which we don't currently have in FS22 would be Follow Me. There's so many times where I really wish I could just get a worker to follow me while I'm windrowing with a baler or while I've got the mowers with the swath mode on, they could start baling up behind me. Um, even like early today, I know you've got the auto like drive AI in the game, but it doesn't work brilliantly on maps where you've got a lot of custom things all over the place and um, so I wanted to take the uh, tractor with the trailer down on the combine and I was like I really wish I had to follow me so could you get the worker to follow me with the tractor and trailer while I took the combine and headed down to the field because I have to take one down then jump back and then bring the other one down so follow me I think is a really useful mod that's missing at the moment. Yeah, Super Strength is a, uh, a useful mod. Especially when you're flipping over vehicles and tractors. Um, as a content creator as well, Super Strength is really good. Because there are some times where you, in between episodes, skipping, I don't have time to manually load up bales into the feed mixer so super strength I can just throw bales in quickly um, then I'm not wasting as much time making sure the animals are fully fed between episodes when I have to skip through the night so super strength is a really useful mod I'd agree with that one Uh, the auto load pallet trailers, it's 
useful as well. So I don't, I don't dislike loading pallets and bales, but sometimes it just gets a bit too much. Uh, Andre, what is your favourite tractor in FS22? Favourite tractor so far in FS22? I should probably say the little massive 5S. It's my favourite one so far. But then there's obviously a lot, a lot of tractors I haven't even tried yet. But there's something about that little massive that I really, really like. I think other useful mods, course play is a really useful mod, although I never tend to use it all that much. Uh, most of the time I found course play was one of the best mods for a farm simulator, um, but also at the same time it could be one of the most frustrating mods to use as well. There will be those times where it would just go absolutely perfect, it would do everything you want it to do, it would work brilliantly, and then the next time you load in the game it just would not work the way you want it to constantly jumping into combines to reset them or vehicles where they've crashed into the fence in the fields when they're set to unload combines it's like how can you like work so well one time and then the next time it just doesn't work at all I think we need one more tree. And that should do us for the forestry for today. I'll take those two logs. Yeah, there's still so many tractors I haven't tried yet, so. But so far, the Massify Vesper is my favourite. I'm sure that'll change at some point, though. Uh, Global Company was a good mod in 19 as well, but yeah, it added a lot of scripts in for production lines and factory mods, which obviously a lot of that is now in the base game. Uh, but yeah, it's added some really good stuff in there as well. I think one of the ones I liked 19 for me was variable bale capacity mod. That was a must have mod for me. Um, obviously with 19, uh, 22 now with the changes you can change bale sizes and capacities. You don't really need that so much now. And I was doing it today when I was doing rain bales and I was looking at it and I think like you've got 11,000 litre capacity bales which is um, bigger than what I would have done in 19. Um, Kovacs Roland, thank you very much for the subscription. Uh, hope you enjoy the content. Uh, the other player is Stevie from Stevie4K Gaming. Actually reminds me, while we're here, I'm waiting. I'll put a link to Stevie's channel. So you can go and check out Stevie's channel. He's recording the, the stream and he'll be doing a time-lapse episode of the stream. So if you're interested in watching the stream in time-lapse form from Stevie's point of view as well, so you get to see what Stevie was up to when you can't see him on camera, uh, then check out Stevie's channel, the link's there, uh, give him a sub as well. So Stevie's got the um, time-lapse series from the live streams. 
but you've done pretty much every No Man's Land live stream. Yeah, this will be number uh, 18. Number 18. So yeah, you can go back and watch our progress from the start. Back when we had the uh, little John Deere Gator and the Mahindra Retriever. Had some fun times tipping those over. Uh, thank you very much for the subscription, Broken Max. I really appreciate that. All right, so I think that'll do. We're going to get these loads sold, and we'll skip through to December, and then we can start selling off the, uh, the crops. I, I put them in the salmon already, okay. I think. <laughs> I knew I had a pile somewhere. I'm well, just going to tidy these ones up and then we'll get the trailer down to the uh, cell point. You've also got your own No Man's Land series ongoing as well, haven't you? I do indeed, yeah. I'm, uh, I think, what, episode 45 or 46 was uploaded today, anyway. Yeah. I've got some catching up to do, eh? I need to, I need to see where you're up to. opening this first. Probably wasting my time trying to get these on. Oh that'll do. Bound to drop on before we get there but hey ho. Uh, Sven Devinter saying sim normally on the time lapse you skip a month and do some tidying up and other stuff. Do you think about sharing the things you do in the text? Uh, not generally because a lot of the time if the, there's too much text on there it takes away from actually watching the video then because you're too busy reading the text so I don't try and put too much text in there it's like kind of just a brief description of what I'm planning on doing because um, it's obviously a time lapse it's quite fast moving if you're reading quite a few lines of text me trying to say what's been happening, what's been doing, and um, you probably missed quite a big chunk of what's been going on in the video, and then you're kind of lost on what's happening in the video. So, I try and not add too much, uh, but most of the time, it's just a brief bit of tidying up. I'll just go around um, taking out any weeds if I haven't had time to do it in the video and I need removing uh, before they get to uh, the next stage uh, sometimes as well I'll occasionally I have to add a layer of fertilizer um, if I've got to do it uh, but m mostly in skipping between it's just moving pallets so the spawn areas are clear uh, making sure like the eggs from the chickens are clear so there's no space for new pallets when I skip through the night. Same with the wall and then just feeding the animals just to make sure they, um, they're not going to run out to feed overnight so I'm wasting time with them not producing anything. So I don't do too much off camera that's like, that you're really missing out on anything.
uh, broken Mac. So when you download the save file, copy and paste, I'll do it um, What you need to do with the save game is the way Google Drive works, I have to put it into a zip folder. Um, if I just upload the folder, when you download it, you just get all the files and not a folder for some reason. Uh, so you have to extract the zip folder to get the folder out and then put that save game folder in with all your other save game folders. So just take that folder and put it in your Farm Simulator 22 folder which is um, default is in my documents on PC. Uh, what you need to do if you've already got a save game with the same number then change the number on the file before you put it in there to one you're not using and then just copy it in there and then it should just load up as long as you've got right, it'll load up the save game uh, as long as you've got the map installed um, if you're missing any mods you can just ignore it and uh, they just won't appear in the game so when you get the warning just ignore it load it up save it and then next time you save it won't show but obviously you need most of the mods to get a lot of the buildings and stuff uh, TC Agra saying for me adding text is the most boring job yep it's the bit I, I like doing the least when it comes to editing it's the bit I do last as well find the trigger. It's here somewhere. There we go. So 23,000 for that load. And of 12,891 for that. That takes us to 162,315. Uh, studio Focus saying greetings from Bosnia. Greetings to you. Uh, Nikki, yo Sim, why is your door open? It's because when I use the front loader it opens and closes accidentally sometimes. And I can never remember how to, uh, how to close them. Uh, Fantastic Farm saying sorry late Sim, no worries. I appreciate you uh, stopping by to watch anyway, whether you're late or not. So we'll do, we're going to rest up for the uh, rest of November and then we'll uh, start selling off the crops. Uh, Vidic, which editing software? I use Vegas Movie Studio Pro 19 for editing and rendering videos. Uh, previously I was using Vegas Pro 16 I think it was and then I upgraded to 19 towards the end of last year. Although there's really not much difference between the versions, to be honest. They usually have a lot of, a lot of changes with the um, between the different versions, but not not the stuff I use it for. Uh, Nick is saying I always added that in when it happened in nineteen. Yeah, the doors and windows when you using front loader tools. Well at the start of the stream Stevie bought a New Holland T7 and unfortunately he couldn't use the grab couldn't use the grab on the front loader because it just kept op opening and closing the doors and windows so we had to change it for the uh, John Deere 6R. A little bit annoying. Yeah jam players I use Vegas uh, 19 Vegas Pro 19 or Vegas Movie Studio Pro 19 as it's uh, fully called. Uh, Boss 2 saying gotta go boy, no worries, thanks for stopping by and uh, enjoy your weekend. 
So where are we now crop wise? Chickens will top up their feed. I'll just speed up the time for about 10 o'clock for a bit of daylight it's a... Yeah. Barley's pretty much at the highest price. So we could sell a load of barley, two loads of barley, I don't think we need to keep um, any more than that. The oats, 1,108, yeah that's above the highest price, so we could sell all the oats. And sorghum as well, that's yeah, pretty much Close, close enough to the hoist so we could sell that as well. Oh, I've got the silage bell. I forgot about the silage bells. So, let me just. Uh, Right, so we have got two loads of barley, which I think our trailer is what 38,500 litres, so, so just under 80,000 litres of barley will sell. 56,000 litres of oats, 6,000 litres of sorghum. So, how much do you reckon we'll have at the end of all that? Plus the silage bales. How many silage bales are there? 48. 48, yeah. Plus 48 silage bales to sell as well. I'll do the barley first. Uh, chat box of gaming saying hello, Sinfarmo, I love you. Well, thank you for that. And thanks for stopping by the stream. Uh, the machine also waving. Hey to you. So, what's the uh, current price for silage? 344 at farm shop. That's weird. I never noticed that that sell point I've put down on here is doesn't take silage where the one I did on the time lapse series does take silage. I thought it was just the the look of the building that was different. I didn't realise they take they took different stuff. Actually yeah. I'm <laughs> saying that, I need to be looking taking the barley. Right, best price for barley is over at the uh, the new sell point. Doing it again. Start racing my way down to the uh, farm store and not checking the best price. Keep forgetting we've got two different options now for uh, sell price. Uh, chat box saying I like and subscribe. Well, thank you. Appreciate you taking the time to uh, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well. I reckon we're probably being close to 360,000 I reckon at a rough estimate once we've finished selling everything off. We'll also check the uh, when the best price for clothes is. That's one thing I'm not sure of. On my time lapse series I always just sell pallets as and when. Uh, so best price is April, so yeah, we won't sell those just yet. Keep hold of those until April, so we've got a few pallets to sell. The first load of barley, 24,882. So we 
we get another 24,000 off the next load of barley. I'll say that takes up to something. Steve's just sold a lot of silage bales. 46,000 for the first load of silage. So we're up to 232,000. So another 24, so we're in another 70,000. So that should take us up to 300. So yeah, I think my estimate of 360 was a bit off. Maybe closer to 400 grand. Uh, the interior looks great on this tractor. I think the the interiors on um, the new new modded uh, the new vehicles in the FS look really good. You can really tell with some of the older models though that they are starting to look very dated on the interior. Pathfinder, I am from the United Kingdom. What we'll do, we'll fill this up. We'll go and top up the chickens, and then top the trailer back up with uh, what's left. And then we'll take this to sell. Steve is just on his way back for the next load of silage. Just check. Yeah, still the best price grocery store. Uh, Fantastic Farmer, I'm making an old JD pack and I'm going to get it on all platforms, nice, that'll be interesting. Which uh, kind of era, era are you looking at? Is that a JD pack with just tractors or implements as well? I think I got to check was the lettuce. Um, yeah, we're almost at the best price for lettuce as well, Stevie. Um, yeah, we work on that till after the sales goes. Yeah, we've got quite a few, few pallets. Well, I'll just finish topping this up and then we'll take this to sell. We'll uh, come back for the oats and sorghum. Completely forgot about the lettuce from the greenhouses. I imagine with the pa uh, the pallet limits, having strawberries set on a greenhouse is a bit of a killer. Imagine one. One greenhouse with large greenhouse with strawberries, tomatoes, uh, a sawmill with planks, and then that's the other one that produces quite a lot of pallets. Oh, that honey, the honey pallet warehouse, or one of those larger honey pallet spawning points. They spawn loads of pallets as well. Uh, Fnatic Farm saying he's doing the JD pack all the way from 1930 to 1990, and there will be an implement pack later. Nice. Sounds interesting. I'll uh, hopefully you uh, can get it out on all platforms. I'm sure that a lot of people will enjoy that. I don't think you can see it on the stream. It doesn't look like it on the stream replay, but my monitor's just started flickering. I'll just try and turn it off and back on. See if it stops it.
don't think it's coming across. Let me know in the chat, see if is it flickering. It's only a very, very, very slight flicker on the screen. So it's a, a little bit annoying for me. It doesn't look like it is on the uh, stream replay on the other monitor. Uh, it's weird that chickens don't eat oats. It's weird that chickens don't eat lots of different things. Another 47,208 for those bales, that takes up to 304,000. No flicker for me. Yeah, I don't think it's coming across on the stream. It's just the monitor, so it's obviously not picking it up on the um, screen capture. Ancient salt saying I hope we get a willy in the forest for FS22. I seem to raise the, these forests on no man's land too quick, faster than the plantation can grow. Yeah, if you're doing a lot of forestry on this, this maps, it's good for doing a bit of forestry, uh, but obviously if you want a lot of forestry then, unless you, you're planting hundreds and hundreds of trees, uh, you quickly can run out. for oats currently so down at the main farm shop so it should be about 40,000 for this load just over and then we've got a few oats left to sell and then the sorghum and then Stevie's going to load up the lettuce uh, if we finish that we'll give him a hand if he needs one finishing off loading those up quite a few pallets there I imagine now we skip through the night well, we've probably got quite a few planks what's currently saying yeah, 11,000 planks in storage. Plus the two that have already spawned, so that's 13, then I think I moved. Probably another eight pallets uh, before the stream, before I skip through the night. So there's probably 20 odd pallets, 25 pallets or so of uh, planks we could sell. Where are we? Coming up to half nine. So we've got about an hour and a half left. Uh, we've got 91 viewers. So if you've not yet smashed that like button, then please do. I really appreciate it. Uh, the used equipment mod in FS19, for me, I'll stop using it. Um, I felt like the uh, the used equipment mod in FS19 was a bit too cheaty because there was at least in this one we've used equipment because obviously you got more hours on the equipment to start with then the maintenance cost is a lot higher uh, the more engine hours uh, hours it's got on it so there's more of a uh, a downside to buying used equipment whereas in FS19 you didn't have that it was you buy, buy it used for a big discount and then you repair it and then you pretty much back to a brand new tractor regardless of how many hours it's got on it. it. It didn't really have any negative impact after that. So it's a good idea but as I mentioned in I think in um, uh, Leandro, thank you very much for the subscription. I've got the mink mentioned on uh, Six Ashes Let's Play. 
saying that I felt like the used equipment needed some more of a negative impact or some like some more negativity towards it than uh, just buying something then that's pretty much just brand new so having that downside like higher maintenance costs uh, one thing I would really love to see is like a, an actual breakdown mod where your tractors could break down um, the older the tractor more rows in the more frequent it potentially could break down so again it kind of gives you that impetus to replace older stuff with new stuff My only downside with the maintenance system, I'm still thinking FS22, it's way too expensive. Uh, Ancients are now getting ma massive lag spikes, if, even if you have a medium yard. I haven't suffered any lag spikes yet. A few times when loading into a map after an update, it's a frame rate to drop and bounce around a little bit but once you've been around the map uh, to calm down uh, but so far on my no man's land uh, I've got quite a lot of equipment in that one area um, a lot of buildings I've not had any issues so far I'm having the, massive, having the issue where you can't generate enough income for the first few years to expand to the really large forests as well as not being able to have large animal farms here, it's tough. Especially on a map like this, it was my concern when I first started was I was really worried about running out of trees before I'd got enough money to even buy another area of land. Or buy any equipment to help, help speed things up but I didn't, didn't choose the uh, area of land that's got a huge amount of trees on uh, but fortunately it wasn't an issue but just about though there was I did come close to not having enough trees on there So there's another 21,463. So that takes up to 368,813, which is about 8,000 over what I said. And we've still got all the sorghum to sell and the lettuce as well. So all we need to do then is decide what to do with all the money. Definitely want to get a planter or two, uh, but that's not going to take up that much, and depending on what we can actually get. But we could get an Fent 900, don't need a tether, we've got one. I don't know what planters, I don't know if I've got any mods now. We'll have to have a look through, see what we can pull with the horsepower we've got, and then decide what's the best value. Uh, may possibly leave buying those though till next time because we won't need them probably in this stream now. I don't think we're going to get to the point where we're going to be planting crops. So I might have a look to see if there's any decent modded planters we can put on. Mm. Uh, one thing I do want to do, actually yeah. One thing I forgot to check was the cows. I think we should have had, yeah, we're up to 50 now. So now we should have had some new births. 
So we've got 25 new births. So we're now up to 50 cows and we've got only 14,000 litres of milk loss. Not a huge amount. Thought we'd have had more milk than that boy now. Uh, TC Agra saying that fent looks like a good boy. I, don't, I didn't have actually a proper look at it. So it's only got 7.5 hours on it, which is not too bad. 42% off. It's up for the 380 horsepower. It's not a lot though, it's like 380 horsepower is not a huge. I think for. I mean, it's not a bad price. 231, but I think I'd rather get a, a 1050, spend a bit more, and get like 500 horsepower. Um, you don't have to add. Oh, I mean, just smash into all the trailers. I want to read the chat. Um, you don't have to add manure to the base game greenhouses, um, but you do with the modded. Uh, there's a modded one that you have to add manure to, um, but the base game ones you don't. It's just water. So it's not like um, FS19 where you could double your income by adding um, manure. Uh, but the, yeah, there are some modded ones where you can add manure to increase production, I think. Uh, Stormcore back saying hello there, hey to you, welcome back. Come all the way down here. I forgot to check if, if this was the best price. Uh, no, but it's not not that much better at the other place. So I don't fancy driving all the way back over there just for a few pound per thousand liters. Should have checked that before I left. Oh, it's gonna break us 400. Just about 404,000. So we've got how much we've got left? 23,000 litres left of sorghum, and that'll be all our crop sold. So Stevie's going to bring down the lettuce and then we'll uh, load up all the pallets, furniture, get those sold. Yeah, the 1050 would be better value. Yeah, I think it would, because the 1050, for me, the 1050, you know, it's 500 horsepower tractor, and it's not a bad price as well for what you get. Uh, the only downside is obviously we can't get a front loader on it. So it'd be like, sell them this massy and get one of those. Well, so I don't know if we really need to go up to a 500 horsepower tractor just yet. I can't remember what the, uh, we could get a versatile, it's now popped up. Uh, what's the horsepower on this one? 265 and then 280 on that. Uh, what are you guys and buy with all that money? I don't know yet, we haven't decided. Well, planters or a planter, we'll, we'll probably get that next time. Uh, it's something I definitely want to get so we can start doing some corn, some flows and stuff. Um, uh, but other than that, possibly get a new area of land. Uh, 
I mean, the mower setup we've got isn't too bad at the moment, so I don't think we really need to worry about changing that. Uh, the combine, I think that's, we've got a decent combine at the moment. I uh, don't think there's anything else. We've got decent windrower, tether. Um, having more horsepower on tractors for plows, um, slightly larger plows wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Probably in a new area of land. I think definitely again, new area of land. Keep a bit of money for planters. Uh, Mick Riddick saying hi, how to you? Uh, TC Agri saying uh, 1050 also has good speed as well. Yeah, I think a lot of the uh, fen tractors usually have decent gearboxes. They're usually pretty nippy. As I mentioned earlier in the stream, we'll probably look at getting the a new production line once we've harvested the uh, crops next time. So we'll look again the grey mill and then the industrial bakery. Uh, but we'll probably get the money for that again before we get to that point so we don't need to worry about keeping money for that. Um, if, we, if we wait until the grass has grown to do that thing where if you buy a new area of land you can pretty much almost make all your money back straight away just off doing silage off the grass. Um, I started, first FS I ever played was at FS15 on the Xbox. I never played any FS before that. So that's all the crops sold. And we're at 21,860. So 449,029. <laughs> Nearly 100 grand off what I estimated. Oh, so while we're here, we'll, we'll put it in the vote. Bring up the map. So currently, we own these areas of land. So suggestions on the next area of land you, sh you, um, you think we should buy. So 24, I think we're kind of ruling out because there's not much usable land on there with all the rocks and trees. Um, 34, it's got a few trees in. We're sort of kind of like that little bit awkward space. We don't think we can extend that field yet. Uh, I think we've got a crop growing. Yeah, both of those fields have got crops in. So we couldn't extend either of those just yet. Uh, 37 as well, it's got that quite hilly bit going down the middle, so there's not much usable land either side of that. I'd say 34, if these fields didn't have a crop in, we could extend that field. Because if we was to put a field in there, and then extend that one a bit, it's not going to be a huge field. I think 45 would probably be a good one, because that's quite a big open area. Or 28 is a possibility. Fairly big. I think that's m mostly usable space. 32 completes the rectangle. Yeah, 32 is not a. Oh, I went a bit laggy then. 
Um, yeah, 32 has got a decent usable area. I think it does slope just in front of that tree line. It starts sloping quite a bit there. Twenty-two. Yeah, twenty twenty-two is the money maker if you're doing forestry. Twenty-two and twelve are really good ones if you've uh, want a lot of trees. What is the mod that you used in the last video you can lock steering? Oh, the Enhanced Vehicle Control mod. Um, it's off GitHub. There should be a link to it on the mod list for No Man's Land Time Lapse series. I'm thinking either 45 or 28. I think that's got the biggest areas we can actually use. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the chat what you think. What do you think, Stevie? Should we have the money? Why not both? Why not both? <laughs> we could do. It's a lot, lot of grass to cut, though. We've got our light. It's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got we've got an hour and ten minutes. We'd have to speed up because at the moment the grass is uh, not its uh, best stage. We won't get much off it. I don't know what, what month is the grass fully grown. March, I think. Mm. Yeah, we'd have to probably skip through to to then. I don't think I've got the mod that allows you to cut the grass at this stage. Uh, we already own 22, we just don't own 12, um, but there's more than enough because we've replanted 22, so there's more than enough trees on 22 to last us a while. And uh, it would probably take us about four or five streams to cut all the trees just to get to 12 with the equipment we've got. Uh, we could also, I was thinking, I mean, possibly could change the silo, but and that one doesn't look great, but it works. Or spend money on something that's uh, bring us in a bit more money, or help us make more money. Oh, it's How many pallets of wool we've got? Quite a few. Just check the spinnery before we skip any time. Just make sure. Uh, uh, spinnery's got 16,000 litres of water, so that's not doing too bad. That's got 14,000 litres, that's okay. Water's fine on those. Uh, Marcus, thank you very much for the subscription. Uh, hope you enjoy the content. Uh, you found it, yeah. The enhanced vehicle control. I think I may need to update mine because uh, I haven't checked it for a while. Is it still a mod that's work in progress? Uh, buy some forestry machines. Oops. I don't. Let's get out of that. I don't currently have. What was that you just sold? Uh, the last, the lettuce. Ah, the last. Uh, the only, the only in-game forestry machines that will cut fully grown trees, I think, is the, is the the, the rotney, the blue ones. Yeah. Any, any of the rest of them won't won't cut the fully grown spruce. I'm not, I'm not keen. This is the only stuff. I've only got the base game stuff for forestry, and I'm not keen on. Uh, I don't mind using these for cutting trees down. Although I do t tend to find they have a mind of their own sometimes and it's difficult to get neat log piles. Uh, but for loading up, 
Like, there's no good stuff like we've got the FDR stuff, and I haven't set up the key bindings yet to use that stuff. Something I do want to do, but forestry stuff, I just think I've got 435 grand. It's a lot of money to spend on something to cut trees up. And yeah, then you've still got to load them up. And I'm not particularly keen on using these that much. They don't hold a huge amount. Uh, so I've not tried them in 22 to be fair, so they may be a bit better than they were in 19. But And the price of wood as well, as the price of wood has been severely nerfed in the 1.3 update, um, it'll take us a long time still just to make the money back for buying forestry equipment. If, if the prices hadn't been changed and we were still earning 60 odd grand tr for the trailer loads, um, then I probably would consider it more. Right, uh, what was I checking? Check the animals, they're fine. Slow time down because it's getting a little bit too dark. Again, we could we could get a mulch, yeah, but the yield bonus is not a huge on it. Not huge, it's two and a half percent. It's it takes a lot of harvest just to make your money back for a mulcher. Uh, anybody that's used precision farming, does mulching and rolling still have an effect? Um, are you loading up the wall, Stevie? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it out this winter. Get out of the way. We probably want to move um, some of the plank pallets before we skip time, I know, otherwise it'll probably fill up. Yeah, that's so why I'm just going to go over to the sawmill now and uh, I'll move back. TCO saying bye, see you might see you, be back later, no worries, thanks for stopping by and uh, if I don't see you again, enjoy your weekend. Angel's all saying don't use the scorpion mod on no man's land, it will cause my game to crash, auto save, my pet the entire save. Oh, it doesn't sound good. Uh, Big T Farm saying hi Sim, hey to you. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, if I was going to get some forestry stuff, I'd use the FDR logging equipment, but I've not had a chance to actually set it up yet. Something I need to do, I'll, I'll try and see if I can do it for next week. Set the key bindings up, and then possibly have a look at getting uh, some of that on here. always seem to take ages when you're waiting for them. You get that odd time as soon as you've moved the pallet, a, pallet, a new pallet will spawn. And then when you sit there waiting for the pallet to spawn, it seems to take forever. Still saying for some reason I downloaded the FDR pack on their website and for the life of me I couldn't find the fixed felling head. 
Uh, yeah, the, I don't think he's done the fixed the fixed head one yet. You've only got the dangle head one. Or at least last time I looked, he'd only done the dangle head one. Um, yeah, which I'll, I, I prefer the fixed head one. So the I, dangle I, head one is a pain in the arse to um, use. Yeah, I couldn't get it. I, I found it didn't dangle at the correct angle. It kind of was like off vertical, which meant it was very difficult to actually pick up on the tree. You had to kind of drive forward to the tree and then let it swing and then try and hit the button just as it was at the right point to get it to work. Uh, yeah, I much prefer the fixed uh, the fixed head ones. Oh no. Let me not paying attention. So it's one of those things where super strength comes handy. Oh, you might as well bring the trailer over here when you've dropped off the wall and I'll... Oh, you're back. It's already, it's already nearly here. So I might as well start loading them up on the trailer. There's one thing I hate about pallets is moving them, then moving them again. And then once, I, once I've got the money on no man's land, what I want to do is get, get one trailer parked up by every production building and just start loading them straight on. Stevie showing off with four pallets at a time. I feel inept now with my two pallets. Billy, why am I still having script mod problems? Uh, have you got the last update that was released yesterday? Um, I, the, only, the only mod that I had the issue with was the repair and maintenance cost. I had to remove that. Every other script mod worked okay. Um, but I've added the maintenance repair costs mod back in and that's working fine now with yesterday's update. Uh, 1.41 I don't know what version it is. Uh, I, are, are you trying to use precision farming as well or is it just your normal save game? Um, I'm trying to think. Just some of the mods are missing. Uh, missing or not working. Uh, there is a problem with the one, uh, the 1 1.4 update, even since yesterday's patch as well. Uh, that when you load into a game, your key bindings for any mods uh, is missing. Uh, so if you go into, I have I have, I've had this problem quite a bit. When you go into here, all this is blank for every single mod. There's no key bindings whatsoever, so none of your script mods will work. So check that. Um, you may have to reset you reset all to default, and it gets them back. Um, but that is still happening now, even after the hot fix yesterday. Oh, what are you doing, Stevie? I kind of wrecked the place. Which I'll go into the menu for five seconds and the pallets are all over the place. This is, this is, this is why I like auto-load. <laughs> it's, 
that, that moment, if you was recording and that happened, you'd just be like, oh my god. That's where, that's where I'd usually stop recording. Throw them all on by hand and then start recording again, just like, yeah, you look, they all just magically appeared on the trailer. Yeah, take a look at your key bindings uh, first. Because I had that problem earlier, I was trying to record and I couldn't get super strength to work. And Hans vehicle control mod wasn't working. I'm like, why are none of my mods working? I know they're there. And then I went in the key bindings and that um, there was no key bindings for any of the mods at all. Have you given up loading them now? Yeah, I'd be kind of hoping that um, it's not going to be too heavy. Oh no, uh, the pallets are only 100 kilograms. Oh, that's alright, so I'll keep loading. Yeah, you'll fit all of them on. That's why technically you don't need super strength, you can actually pick them up by hand. Although 100 kilograms on your own still seems quite heavy. Unless you like bench pressing. Yeah, the, um, the update for the pallet mod, um, it only works on new spawn pallets, so existing pallets still weigh their normal weight. So it only changes it when new pallets spawn. Oh, I'm picking up the trailer. Steve, you drop some. Alex on the head then. I'll just move those over. Oops. Yeah, I think these pallets are about 1.1 ton uh, standard. But we've got the uh, the mod that makes all pallets 100 kilograms, so you pick them up by hand. Um, it also means you can actually, oops, <laughs> threw a pallet all the way across the map. Um, also means you can actually load up all your plank pallets without overloading your trailer and doing about five miles an hour across the map, as Stevie has had to do in the past. Uh, Storm call, got to go, going to bed, uh, see you later, no worries. Uh, thanks for stopping by the stream and have a great weekend. Is that all of them? Yeah, no more has spawned in her. No, not yet. It's 510. You want to put the furniture on as well, or? What's the price of furniture currently? Is it worth it, or? Uh, no, nope, wrong menu. Let's have a look. Furniture, furniture, furniture. Uh, uh, 3,800 is the best price, and they're currently 303. And the price is going up, so uh, we can hold on to them for a bit. Uh, we don't need to move any, do we? Uh, no, plenty of storage. Right, so we're going to get those sold. Where's the best price actually? Uh, just looking now. Uh, the main farm shop. It's nearly a hundred pound better off. I will skip through to uh, oh, that would be difficult to do anything. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have time to cut and bail up a whole area are we? I don't know, we've got an hour. Well, we've got 50 minutes. Oh, we might. Don't buy too big of an area. We'll be fine. <laughs> well, both the areas I was looking at are predominantly not, probably 90% grass. <laughs> yeah, 
It'll be the, the bailing of it, that's, that's all, it'll be yeah. slow. Bailing and wrapping the, uh, the downside. Uh, let's have a look. I think 28 slightly less graph, um, le yeah, less graphs than 45. But it's still quite a big area. If you buy one of the areas and, start and skip time and uh, you start mowing, I'll come behind you with the baler. Yeah. I will buy 28. Now that's sold, we'll, uh, all the animals are fine, so we don't need to worry about them. What we have to do is just check before we skip through the next night, make sure if there's uh, animals aren't going to run out of feed. Right, let's just check before we go again. They're fine, chickens are fine, cows are fine, planks are fine. Right, I'll skip, skip through to February and then we'll see what the uh, grass is. Ah, uh, you got it all working now, Billy. That's nice. Uh, so a little bit annoying. I don't know why he keeps doing that. And I know I've seen a few people have the same issue. Definitely won't be quitting any grass in this. Right, water's fine. Water's fine on that. Spinner is fine. It's fine. I just need to go and move the planks and then we can skip through to March. And then we'll start getting the grass cut in the new area of land. And Stevie can start bailing up. Come on, pallets. Spawn. I don't know why they did the sawmill with only two two pallets spawn, and then they've got stuff like that that just four pallets. It's like, why, why have you got this big, huge building that produces loads of pallets, and then it only spawns two at a time? It's like, it makes no sense. This storage, the internal storage capacity as well is too small for how many pallets it actually creates. Got like one of the biggest, biggest placeable production buildings and it's got the small capacity. left 3,000 litres. So we'll just move these last two and then we're going to skip through to uh, skip through to March and then hopefully we should be able to cut the grass then. There's one last pallet. Just check the used equipment before we go any further. So class action. 
that one we can have a front loader on. That's only got 3.8 hours on it. Right, I think I'd be stupid not to sell the Master Ferguson and get that. 40% off, it's got what, 17 hours less than the Master Ferguson. It's a higher horsepower tractor and can still take a front loader. Uh, kind of makes uh, sense. Bye bye Massey. If it had 15, 16 hours or more, I probably wouldn't bother. But So we're going to buy a, buy a new class tractor. It's a good job I checked that. I could have missed out on that. So, that's, so that one's got 48 hours on, 56% off. That's only got 3.8 hours on it. Seems like a, a bargain. Uh, Big T Farm, can you explain how you get contracts on this map um, you need to the only contracts you can get are these supply and transport contracts uh, there's a mod on the mod hub if you're on PC I don't know if it's on console as well I think it's just PC only um, it's called supply and con uh, transport contracts uh, but the only contract you get is literally for delivering products you can't get like field work contracts unless you um, Add them in uh, via Giants Editor. Uh, so yeah, the supply and transport contracts are literally like you'll get a contract for 200,000 litres of barley to be delivered to the farm shop for an X amount of money. Uh, it's usually more than what you would if you sold it. There's a massive sold. Hello, Barbara. Can we buy, blah, blah, blah. buy a used tractor? So it's only like 20 grand more. Unless we upgrade to the. How much is that? That's quite a lot. I think the 325 will do us for now. Yeah, I don't think it's on console. I'm not. I don't think it is on. I'm not 100% sure. Uh... I really don't like class tractors in black. Just don't think they look very good. Keep it standard. Bye Barbara, thank you very much. We've got a big tractor now. Oh, I've crashed. Don't forget driving in the snow. Shame they don't have had, uh, more weather effects for the rain, make the ground a bit more slippery. It's brand new. 
So this is a part of the class uh, pack that's on Mod Hub, so it's a modded version of the class tractor, so that's why we've got the uh, front loader on it. Although, I'm just trying to think maybe our front loader may be a little bit too small. I may need to get the slightly bigger one. Something we'll have a look at uh, next time. Yeah, we, I think the front loader we got was um, a little bit too big because we got this, the bigger ones so we could uh, load up the logs a bit easier but we'll just see now. Yeah, that one fits but yeah, we'll probably do, I think they do a Q9, don't they? Uh, so next time we'll probably look at changing it. Now Q7 is the biggest one. I could have sworn they did a Q9. So I think that one only fits the, uh, yeah, the 6600. Uh, so we've got the biggest Quickie one anyway. Uh, don't think that's any bigger. Oh, we've got the eight M. Um, I think oh, that's yeah, that's the one that comes with this pack. So that's an eight M. So that's slightly bigger, I think. So we'll probably change to that one next time. Uh, Mercenary, thank you very much for the subscription. Uh, hope you enjoy the content. Yeah, so we'll change that as you can see it fits but I can't get it off now stuck on the front of the tractor oh, I can't even uh pick it up with super strength now uh, ancient sort saying, well I'm off mate, uh, going to jump on Sea of Thieves for a few hours. Uh, take care and I'll catch you on the next one. No worries. Have fun and uh, enjoy your weekend. So I uh, try and work out how to get this front loader off. It doesn't want to come off. There we go. I think, I think we may have got it. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to uh, change that next time. I'll go and skip through the uh, to March. Hopefully, the snow will have gone and the grass will have grown. Still doesn't look fully grown. Uh, the only thing we won't be able to plant if we skip another month is cotton, which we won't do anyway. It looks like we're going to have to skip through to April. Then we're definitely gonna have to check cows, chicken. Now the trouble is, if we skip one more month, we're gonna lose out quite a lot because I think the sawmills out of planks, yeah, out of wood. 
So we might need to leave it till next time because we're already coming 20, 20 past 10 now. What do you think, Stevie? I, I don't mind. What, what is there that we can do? Probably not, not a whole pile, I'd say. Um, well, we're in March, so we could sew... Um, we could do... We could sow oats, uh, plant sunflowers, that's about it. <laughs> or if we're going to do some planting with planters, we could discarrow a couple of the fields to get them ready for planting with uh, a planter. Yeah, if we start to say if we discarrow a, a field or two and maybe get some oats planted, that's, that'll finish us out. Well, f the field, the new field we was going to put soy, um, soybeans in, uh, that doesn't need anything doing so we can leave that till next month so we could put oats in one of the the other two fields I was just thinking actually discarrowing because if we cut 28 and plow a new field in we could plant straight into the plowed field so maybe just sow oats into one of or two of the existing yeah, fields maybe so oats in the two fields over in um, area 27 so yeah um, yeah we'll do that and we'll do the grass cutting next time uh, when can we download your map you can download it now on the save game but it's an outdated one There should be a link in in the description for the mod list, which also has the um, also has the links to the save game files. But I think the last save game file was episode 40 odd or something, so it's quite outdated now. I will be updated soon though. Uh, but it's not my map, you're just downloading a save game. Uh, it'll be updated soon. I'm not sure exactly when. Um, but I, I'm hoping to do it soon, but I keep saying that and then never get around to it. Funamark, good thing about oats, mature quick. Yeah, they do, they're fast growing. If I actually selected oats, would help. Yeah, so we'll finish off with these two fields. And then next time we'll uh, cut the grass in the new area of land, which is that one just ahead of us. And we'll get that baled up for silage, we'll plow in a new field or two. And then we'll look again like the other field planted with uh, crops for this year's harvest. So we've still got just under 400 grand left for uh, getting a plant or two. So we may do similar to what we've done here and get two six metre planters and then we can both work in the same field at the same time and it's effectively like a 12 metre planter rather than, which I think will probably work out cheaper than getting one 12 metre planter to be honest. Pretty sure that Vader stud 12 metre is about 160 grand. Pretty sure we could get two six metres for uh, less than that. Uh, 
Uh, Luan saying hello, hey to you. Uh, Billy, any tips for starting a new no man's land? Um, I said with the changes to the wood prices, I wouldn't recommend starting with a Mahindra retriever and a chainsaw. Unless you want to spend a lot of time driving backwards and forwards before you can even afford a small trailer. Um, if, you, if you're going down the forestry to start off, then I'd say start off with Area 22. If you're not so bored about forestry and you're going to start off with some farming equipment, then I'd say start off with an area of land that's got the most open space to use without clearing trees or having too many rocks or stuff in so you can play in some decent sized field and I'd also recommend cutting all the grass first doing it for silage that's definitely a money maker to be honest on no man's land it's kind of you probably are better off just leaving the grass as grass and constantly doing silage over and over again. You probably make far more money off the area of land from silage than you will from any crop in the same area of land. It just gets a bit boring then because you're doing the same job over and over again. Um, horses seem on popular FS22 because they take a long time to, to get to fully trained and then they're not worth a lot of money when they are. I think they take about was it three, four game in-game years till they're old enough to um, get to their maximum price and then it's only 5,000. So if you work out over all the years you've spent feeding them on the feed and stuff, um, it's not a big return for a fully trained horse that could potentially go on to earn thousands and thousands in horse racing. And I don't think breeding, when they get to the, the age where they can breed as well, I'm selling the offspring also doesn't make huge amounts of money so I just don't think they're worth the time and effort. I've tried them and unless they uh, get changed quite a bit and I just don't see the point in doing horses to be honest. James saying I started with a pickup truck chainsaw Prop 22 a few weeks ago and it wasn't that hard to earn a lot of money although the wood prices have been lowered yeah it's not hard it's just time consuming I say for me there's there's no difficulty in farming simulator it's just how, how long it takes to do things that's why I always say they should change the economic setting from Easy, medium, and oh well, easy, normal, and hard to um, low, high, and oh well, low, low, medium, and high, or low, normal, and high economy rather than easy because it doesn't make the game easier. It just means you earn more money for doing the same job, and um, then it's spend less time actually earning enough money to progress. It's the same with the forestry, everyone's saying oh you need to do this so it's more of a challenge. It's not more of a challenge, it's going to take me twice as long. Don a potato, how are you? Good to see you in the chat. I'm 
welcome to the stream. Although we are, well, probably about half hour left or so. I think we might need to get some, oh yeah, fertilizer. Should have checked that before we started sowing. <laughs> Neither of these fields have got any fertilizer on. Mark, you said why forestry in the Tarlet series, forestry in FS is truly hectic and time consuming. Yeah, it can be. Um, I think now, now they've lowered the price, forestry is kind of less of a lucrative thing as it was. Unless you spend more time. You can still earn a decent amount of money from doing it. It's just going to take you longer to get to a, a point where you've got enough money to start getting some decent equipment, that's all. So if you're prepared to put the grind in. Then you can still do the forestry route. sales yeah, not much in there that would be useful to us that would be don't quite have the horsepower with this tractor to pull that uh, but you could upgrade it That wouldn't be bad for a uh, this carol. We've already got two of those. Feed mixer we don't desperately need. Not a self propelled one anyway. Well, the trailer's no good to us without a uh, truck. But well, I must say we've had some uh, decent stuff come up this stream. A lot, a lot, a lot better stuff that's been coming up than we usually get. And we've had quite a few decent tractors. We started off when we first started the stream. There was a Fent 1038 on the used equipment, and that only had I think, 13 and a half hours on it, which wasn't too bad. And then we've had the versatile come up. There was that other Fent 900 that come up, uh, this class. There were quite a few decent tractors come up actually in the used equipment, which makes a change. <laughs> Usually when I go on there, it's always stuff I've got no interest in whatsoever. Or no use for at the time. I didn't expect us to be coming to the end of the stream with two new tractors, a new area of land and still have nearly 400 grand in the bank.
That's the first field almost done. Steve's just got that one last little strip there. We're going to make a start on the next one. So what we'll probably do is get these two finished off and then get some fertiliser on. And we'll call it, uh, call it tonight. Uh, possibly be a stream Wednesday next week, we're not 100% sure yet. So maybe back to just Saturdays. Um, obviously there won't be a stream tomorrow night because we're doing it tonight. So there'll be a normal time that's video tomorrow on No Man's Land instead. Uh, Samuel Gamer saying hello, hey to you. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Davis Farming, hello, how are you? Sorry I'm late, whatever I missed. Uh, probably quite a bit, depending when you was last here. Uh, Rex, what's that? Uh, Rex the Row One, uh, thank you very much for the subscription. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, we've bought two new tractors, sold off all our crops, uh, bought a new area of land, or sold off all the pallets as well, uh, pallets of lettuce, planks, uh, all the eggs. So we're making lots of money. So yeah, two new tractors and a new area of land we've bought. And we're just finishing off now. Uh, sowing oats in two of our fields for this year's harvest. And then next time we'll get the grass cut in this area here that we've bought. Once it's all cut, baled up, we'll get the bales moving, then we'll play in the new field or two in there. And then look to get the uh, the rest of the field. So we'll, if we get two new fields in that area, or one big one, we'll see next time. Uh, we've got the new field over by the sawmill that we created a few uh, streams ago. That we're going to put soybeans in. And then we've got that one field just behind the cow shed there to do as well. Which... Uh, don't know what we'll do with that one yet. I do want to try and do a decent sized field of sorghum though, because I want to get the grain mill and then do the bakery uh, this in game here. So I do want to plant a decent amount of sorghum for that so we've got enough to keep that going. Uh, this weekend I will be mostly clearing out my garage, uh, loft and some rubbish in the garden. I keep missing some bits on these corners. So I've got a busy weekend tomorrow. Again. You have to tell me what um, version of Enhanced Vehicle Control mod you've got, Stevie, so I can see if it's the same as mine. 1.2.0.1, I think. I think that sounds the same as the one I've got. I was thinking earlier, so I was going to put it on, then I thought I'd need to make sure you've got the same version. Well, 
probably do. We, we, we can we can try um, sometime during the week and just just add it onto and set up a game for a few minutes and uh, see if I can join. If not, you could just send me on the one you have, or I think you want. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do is I'll probably go on GitHub and see if there's an updated version. It's been a while since I downloaded it. Um, if there's an update, I'll download the latest one. I'll send you the link. For, uh, so next time we can get that on. Yeah, uh, we make it so much, so much easier. Yeah, uh, Billy, if I go with logging on 22, should I use super strength? That's entirely up to you. At the end of the day, it's your game. You play it how, however you enjoy it. Um, if you want to use it, use it. So at the end of the day, you've you've got to you've got to be enjoying it to play it. If you if you're doing forestry and you're not enjoying it, then there's no point doing it. Because at the end of the day, you, the main reason why you you play the game is for enjoyment. So there's little point in doing things you don't enjoy doing. So if it makes it easier for yourself or more enjoyable, then go ahead and do it. I try not to use super strength in my videos, um, especially like picking up logs and that. So there's that annoying thing with the lumberjack mod where it sometimes enables super strength for some reason. I've not worked out why it does it, uh, but occasionally it seems like when you go into one of the menus and you come out, it's enabled super strength for some reason. Um, and then there's often times I've picked up logs that I shouldn't have been able to pick up not realising I had super strength on. So I've, ne I've not intentionally used it in my videos. So at the end of the day, it's, it's, you've got to decide for yourself whether you uh, want to use it or not. Uh, Big T Farmer, any thoughts of inviting guests to play on the map? I, I do want to get some more people on, but um, I need to get back to Discord so I can sort of those. Uh, now we're getting some quite big fields and more stuff to do. I'll probably try and get somebody else to come and give us a hand. It's just having, there's no point in having loads of people come on if there's um, nothing for them to do. So it's always a case, wait till we've got more jobs to do and the equipment to do. We've got three tractors at the moment, but the little masses, it's okay for doing some stuff like fertilizing, uh, but that's, <laughs> there's not much else we can do with it. So yeah, in the future I'll try and um, get some other people on to come and help us out. It yeah, probably won't be too far, but maybe when we're doing the harvesting soon so we can get one person in the harvester, one doing the carting, then one baling straw. That's all the oats done, nearly. Last little bit. So we've got 13 minutes left, so we've got enough time to just get some fertilizer on these two fields. Uh, we'll get some on that one as well, so it's ready. And it also looks like we're missing a patch of fertilizer there. Uh, Dave Swarm, I hope you have an amazing weekend, and you too. Uh, 
I'm sure, I'm sure I'll, I'll enjoy it. It might be uh, a bit boring the hard work, but. Uh, Bill saying thanks, I just asked because I find it hard to get into new map when I have played 400 odd errors on a different one. Yeah, as I always say, at the end of the day, you've got to enjoy the, enjoy the game. If you're not enjoying it, there's a little point in playing. So, just because you want it, if you feel like using super strength, then use it. Don't let anybody tell you you're wrong for using it or you're cheating. At the end of the day, it's all about enjoyment and play it the way you, you enjoy it. Uh, what do ho horses eat? They, you can feed them sorghum, oats and hay, I think it is, in 22. You have to give them hay and then one or the other of oats and sorghum, I think that's the only two. And then water. Well, Stevie's getting the fertilizer one. I'm gonna take uh, the one front loader down to the store and sell that. I'll get the correct one for this tractor. If I can actually get it to fit now. Well, I can't actually get it to. Uh, We'll go and sell this and we'll get the, uh, the slightly bigger one for this tractor while Stevie finish off the fertilising. Uh, there was something else I did just think about doing and then I completely forgot what it was. The saw will be empty no? Hey. You were saying earlier I think the sawmill is about to be empty. Before yeah the sawmill's out of wood but that can wait till uh, I'm not going to skip any more time now. We'll keep it at this for. Um, we can do that at the start of the next stream, or I'll we'll do it in between streams. Just top it up. No, there was something else, and I can't remember what it was. Load of milk. What's the price of milk? Uh, best price is one three eighty. Oops. Uh, current price is uh, not far off the best price. So should have bought down the milk tanker to sell as well. Oh. Uh, TC Egg saying, ooh, big new tractor since I was here. Yeah, this came up in the used equipment for, um, is it 40% off? Uh, no, it only had 3.5 hours on it, or 3.7 hours on it. So it's practically like a brand new tractor. Uh, we want the front loaders. Painting the class colours so we, it's a bit easier to work out which one's which. 
Oh, we're well, almost over here as well. Hello, Barbara. I want to get a class weight to go with a class tractor. Um, is this one for all platforms? Uh, the base game one is. I'm not 100% sure about this actual mod pack. I'd say it is for all platforms. Um, it is this one, the Clash Tractors package. So it's got. Uh, the two front loaders and then you've got a modded version of different options in for the Arian, the Axion 870, 800, uh, 960, 920 and the Terra Track as well which you can also have front loader on. So all those are in the, included in the same pack. I can't remember who it's by but it's that one there. So if you go on Mod Hub look under large and medium to be honest you're probably in the small or packages you should find it I can't see why it won't, wouldn't be on console uh, but not 100% sure uh, James Ansel saying hi Sim hey to you TC saying can't beat you, touch your class. Nope. Not for like selling the massive Ferguson which had got 22 hours on it. And then for an extra 20 grand we was able to buy this with only 3.7 hours on it at the time. So plus it's 320 horsepower. So it's a nice horsepower upgrade as well over the Massey. So it kind of made sense to uh, get it when it was there on offer. Uh, the mod pack is on console, nice. There you go. Yeah, so this one is the Class Axion 920. So that is the modded version. So we can have the front loader on it. Dude, just before we finish off, while well, there's a decent price of milk, we'll uh, take a load of milk. Oh, that's changed colour. I'm sure that was white before. Yeah, the update has reset the colour of it. So it's the, uh, still the 24,000 litre capacity. Milk. So farm shop is the current best price. Uh, Davis, thanks for letting me know. I'm definitely going to download it in five minutes. I, I only got it, um, downloaded it today to put on here. I, just, I, I saw it, but I didn't see what difference there was from the base game stuff. And it's only because Steve said the other night that you could get a front loader on. So I thought I'd download it and uh, have a look at it. Didn't expect one to come up in the used equipment. Uh, 
Uh, King of Games saying, hi Simo, I have to go now and keep up with the great work. Greetings from Norway. Well, uh, enjoy your weekend and thanks for stopping by the stream. Uh, we'll be off in two minutes. <laughs> so we'll sell this and then we'll start wrapping up. I'll go, go and let the dogs out. I keep forgetting it's Friday as well today. Seems strange. TC Agra saying a little contract where I live had a class 960. Problem with it was the four wheel drive got stuck and well I didn't do 40k and it went through front tyres faster than an F1 car. Now that don't sound too good. Let's see if we can finish with 400,000. Excellent tram, hello from Sweden, hey to you, and welcome to the stream, although, oh, shut up Alexa, I always forget to mute, <laughs> mute Alexa, <laughs> uh, 406,311, so I think that will do us for tonight, so a big thank you to everyone that's hung around to watch hope you've enjoyed the stream if you have then please don't forget to smash that like button i really do appreciate it uh, thank you to all the new subscribers as well i really appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel uh, thank you stevie for coming on to help out again no problem anytime and yeah it's been a uh, I did this last time, couldn't think of the world and the word I was looking for. It's been a productive stream, that's what I was that's what I meant to say. I've got quite a bit quite a bit done, made quite a lot of money. Two new tractors, new area of land. And still got four hundred and six grand in the bank, so all's good. Plus we've got twenty five extra cows now with the new births. We technically bought three tractors, but one wouldn't work. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, had, we had to sell one one new tractor as a uh, unfortunate dud. Yeah, so say so thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Uh, possibly maybe a stream next Wednesday. Not one hundred percent sure yet. Um, I should know by. Monday. Uh, but I'd probably say more than likely if you're about Stevie. Yeah, I'd be around that way. And uh, probably will be, but yeah, don't know if definite yet. But definitely back next Saturday. Um, just park that in there. Still the same disappears then. So bizarre. So yeah, next time we've got the crops to sow. More fertilizer on those two. Crops in that one, crops in that one. We're getting the grass cut in 28. Uh, possibly maybe another area of land as well. It depends if we get time. Uh, get some new fields ploughed in, more crops so uh, planted. So plenty to do. So again, hopefully you'll join us next week. I say, have a great week, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.
Cause that's all I